Good morning. It's time to do our dailies. Let's take a look at what we need to do today. We need to buy three items, spin the wheel of mediocrity, play a game, customize, and groom. Well, let's jump into it, starting with our free food. Sorry, I slept in today. Sorry, not sorry. I love sleeping in on the weekends. And we got a whole tiger squash jelly. All right. And on to the omelet. Let's see. Got rotten or cheese. You never know. And interest at the bank. Don't forget your interest. Great, and moving on to King Altador. Good morning, King Altador. How are you today? Got a rug. Okay, insert an appropriate joke there. <laughs> and 100 today from Mr. Slorg. Thank you so much, Mr. Slorg. And on to Trudy's. Let's see how Trudy is going to treat me today. Should be getting some nicer paydays. And 19. Woohoo, we're back. Feels great. And on to Apple Bobbing. Let's go. Let's see what's going to happen. And we tumble head first. Okay. <laughs> That's something. And on to anchor management. Bar for pirate potato crisps. Okay. And Ned K. Let's get this bad boy knocked out. Ooh, starting with our red pieces. And then it should be pretty straightforward from here. Then let's get these shapes plugged in. And boom. All right. Got camouflage rookie marionette. Okay, those have come in handy for the coincidence before. And grave danger. Got a whole chili pizza. Thanks, new Derek. Um, let's get Delic back out there though. See you in five hours. Okay. And one thing I like about the daily Neopets is they do update to remove advent calendar eventually. And we finally got Neopies as a clickable. Let's go check at the Jelly Neo guide real quick. So the first and the second were kind of lumped together into one day. So as long as you voted on February 1st or February 2nd, you should still qualify for that streak prize. But now it should be rolling out um, every day on the day for each of these streak prizes. So let's see what we need to go vote on. I think this is one I will not have a strong <laughs> opinion on. I mean, the Fiora Gnome is kind of adorable. The Spell Maiden is something. The Slutari is kind of goofy funny. I don't know if anything's good. And then Rubber Fruit, I'm not sure what that'll do. So I'm going to go with my first guess of just this uh, Fiora Gnome. And let's go. I'm going to submit. And we got a Bython. Okay, I wonder how much those have fallen. Yeah, I just I haven't checked in with the Bython prices in a hot minute. Oh, 3,000. Those fell quite a bit. <laughs> All right. Cool. Oh, I got some good first day of voting. So don't forget to get your votes in. And continuing on with the wheels. Spin that wheel. And we got 500 today. Nice. I'll take it. Moving on to Wheel of Excitement. Let's go. Oh, we got another 500. Okay. I'll take that too. Breaking even for that wheel. No, not Wheel of Misfortune. Okay. And Wheel of Knowledge. I don't even think this one gives out money. So I can't do a triple 500, but we'll see what we get. Oh, that pesky respin. Ugh. My, my, my favorite. Mm. And King Hagen. Uh, there are some lessons that cannot come from a book. They must simply be lived. Amen to that. And moving on to Tumbler. Play Tumbler for the sandwich. Yay. Bunch of gross food. Okay. <laughs> and while we're here, let's go check in on training. Still doing that uh, level. Just doing level now. It's nice to kind of not have to think for a while. It's going to get painful here soon, so I need to in enjoy the calm before the storm of actually getting into training sessions a day with my schedule. Complete course. Great. Back to level. All right, we need Ornvo, Ornvo, Tai Kai. Let's see what I got. All right, so I had one Vo and one Tai Kai, so we're going to need to buy another Vo and two Orns. Let's start off with the Orns this morning. Orns are sitting at 6-3, so not bad. Sometimes you see an item in the shop and you just, you gotta buy one so that you have one. <laughs> what is this? Sauce range? <laughs> I just, oh my gosh. Oh, and he's the cheapest one. So we're buying that because I need it. <laughs> All right. I think that's everything. Oh wait, no, I still need a bow. I got distracted. Am <laughs> I the sauce range? Okay. One more bow. And bows are at almost 9,000 this morning. So they've dropped a little bit. And now we can pay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Site is moving slow for me today. So it'll be a, well, it'll be a fun one. All right. See you in almost eight hours. Continuing on. Snowager is awake. Let's go check in with tomorrow. Nope. And wise old king. He's asleep. Damn it. Is the grumpy old king going to be gone too? Damn it. Ugh. Okay. Whatever. I'll try to remember to come back later. And open the door. Continue on. Fiddlesticks. Okay, add that to the fiddlesticks pile and moving on to fruit machine. Let's see how fruit machine goes today. Maybe I'll win a little something something today. It's been a little minute. Nope. 
And on to Colton. Good morning, Colton. Nothing happened. Okay. And Crayledor Meteor. We're going to take a chance to poke it with a stick. Nothing. Okay. And Magical Lou Grundo. Good morning. How are you? We forgot we don't need to eat. Okay. And on to fishing. Let's get everybody fish. Starting with Adoin, we get a bucket of sludge. Okay. And reel in your line for breadfish and a skill increase. Nice. And reel in your line for bland fish. Okay, I'll take it. And reel in your line for water fairy water blaster. Okay. And lastly, we reel in our line for a cube fish and a skill increase. Dope. And back on the pets tab, we are going to make Adoin active. We're going to give him a little groomy room real quick. Great. And we still need to customize today. So let's go knock out a little background swap TM. It's not actually trademarked, I promise. Uh, what does this one look? Ugh, I'm getting sick of this tree. So we're going to do that. Let's go. All right. And from here, I'm going to knock out a game. Let's see what's featured today. Jungle Raider. Okay, we've, we've seen me crash and burn at this one already. <laughs> so, no, I'm going to do some Fashion Fever real quick. All right, and back to the list with Kazalan Expellabox. And boop, 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 boop. We got some NP. Ooh, 2000. Nice. Thanks, Kazalan Expellabox. And moving on to Lunar Puzzle, we are going to right click and view page source. We're going to control F for Kralidor. Kralidor is 150 for me today. 150 correlates to picture 8. Picture 8 is the last one on the bottom row. Boop. And we got some more green tea. Okay. Thank you. And now it is time for Forgotten Shore. Let's see. We had a pile of money today. And we got 2,000 Neo points, which is what we got for today. But let's go take a deeper dive at Forgotten Shore. Forgotten Shore is one of the dailies that you do need to acquire all nine pieces of a map in order to access. You can go to the treasure map redemption area through the games room. Just search for treasure maps. These pieces are pretty easy to obtain. You can find them. Just people are checking them in the money tree all the time. You can find free lots of complete sets on the trading post. You can be wandering around the site and get these pieces handed to you. But otherwise, you, or you you can just try to buy them and they're very 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 cheap because they're so prolific so once you've actually acquired the map then you can start doing the forgotten shore as a daily every day you can also get there from the croc map island let's go test that out so i think the games room would still be an option if you wanted to do that but let's do the croc island route and we should be able to click over here it'll yell at me because we've already done the daily but okay yeah so you Go here, visit the shore, and here we are. Okay, cool. So let's take a look at the prizes. You have an option to get Neo points from 2K all the way up to 10K. I've gotten every one of these a handful of times. You also have the option to get a treasure chest. We, these kind of fluctuate in price going between 5 to 10K to resell. You can open these. They are like a, a gotcha item where you might get something cool from it, but more often than not, not really. You also might get one of these coins. None of these coins that you could potentially get have any value anymore. They're all 300 Neo points or less. So if you wanted to go shopping for some interesting album items, these would also be great to go pick up and put in your personal stamp albums, but no, no windfall money from picking up a coin, unfortunately. There are also some some jewelry items. Your Megaton bracelet and this Amulet of Darkness are the only things that have a little bit of value creeping in that 1k range but other than that most of these are also very deflated in value because of their drop frequency. And then the special prizes you might get with this little shovel appearing on the the page is Forgotten Shore Background, Pirate Drake Egg, Pirate Croc Morphing Potion, and also that avatar. There is a chance to get an avatar from playing this game when you get that little shovel icon. Pirate Drake Egg, those are still retaining their value around the 200k to 400k range. This Croc Morphing Potion, I think, is also kind of in that 200k range, but still awesome that, you know, you can get Crocs and Drakes pretty easily from the Forgotten Shore. Um, I think I've gotten the Drake egg like twice this year. So very, very uh, probable that you can get one of these special prizes every day. So let's answer the question, is it worth it? This one, I do think it is worth it. Um, it doesn't take, too, it's not too hard to put that map together and get this into your, your dailies flow. It's pretty affordable. And it's also just a quick click that is a free item for the day. Um, whether you get a little bit of money, whether you get one of these uh, special items that you can resell for some value, um, especially if you're an avatar hunter, definitely be doing the Forgotten Shore and add that to your list. But th this is one, oh, I think a lot of people do play this one. There is no risk associated with playing. 
you just show up and see what the shore has for you this day. So if you haven't been doing this one, I would recommend getting that map together and uh, getting this added to your dailies list. And what we like to do when we're done with a forgotten shore is go check in with food club. Moment of truth and ooh, ooh, gotta count the zeros. All right, 300K. So we put in 125K yesterday, so 175K profit. Fuck yes. Did I do that math right? I don't know. <laughs> Let's see what's good for food club today. All right. We got a moderate risk, high expected return day to day with like an 18 or 20% chance to bust. We are playing N Chang's aggressive set again, stuck with that 12, five bet for a total potential pay in of 125 K for a total potential payout of 3.125 million. We'll see how that goes today. And let's go check in with stock market. I am only positive 0.5%. Got two more days to enjoy my boon though. Let's see. Dice Rue kind of settled around 36 and uh, is at 25. Nothing else is really popping off. Well, let's try to find something new. Got KBAT is at 10. I've gotten KBAT before. We got Skeeth Bodyguards at 10. Uh, let's get some bodyguard action going. Did you guys catch <laughs> that Reddit post that was like, my, I fed my Skeeth a bed and he hasn't been hungry for a month. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it was hilarious. But so if you have a skeeth and you feed it, because you can feed a skeeth anything. And apparently if you feed it something that is an item that has a lot of weight, like a bed, then it keeps it so full for, for so long. So I guess either warning or enjoy that little fact if you have a skeeth to feed. But pay attention to the weight of a Neopets item before you go feeding your skeeth, whatever the heck you, you feel like. Wow. But there's our stock bot. Continuing on with Healing Springs. And heal my please thank you and one more potion for the potion horde because of course and while we're here let's mosey into fairy city see what's looking good for food because i still need to buy two additional items today great there we go we can pick up some cards um how about here go great and one more card i gotta try to pick something that i likely don't have so i can just stuff it in my my deck I'll do two rings wizard how about that all right, great. And now we should be able to clean out our quest log. That took way too long to buy items. And for buying three items, we got 7,000 Neon points. For spinning the Wheel of Mediocrity, we got 6.7K. For playing a game, we got a rolled up treasure map, nice. And for customizing, we got 4.5K. And lastly, for grooming, we got a Scorchio Battle Wand. And don't forget to claim that 20K to keep your streak progress going. And let's check in. And we got two more days left. I'm just curious what this price is doing if it's fallen anymore from that 12k point that it was at oh and it's grown a little bit okay okay still still very cheap and continuing on with buried treasure well, let's see what's looking good here nothing okay and test your strength what are we gonna be today we're gonna be oh pathetic all right we got 245 neo points nice nice and moving on to coconut shy Big ones, small ones, ones as big as your head. Ugh, I don't know what's been going on with Coconut Shine and my cursor lately, but it's been a struggle. But let's see how we do today. All right, we have capped out, started with 211.9, ended with 211.1, so a little bit of a loss today, but nothing too crazy. And continuing on to library time. Let's see what happens. Are we gonna get some movement back? Are we gonna change anything? We got three defense. Okay, that's something, I guess. And Pet Pet Library, we're going to try to reanimate this pile of soot called Goober and see what happens. And Goober's a level 5 pile of soot. <laughs> okay, that's something, I guess. And moving on, let's go say hi to Illuzin. Tomorrow is going to be our day where we want to do a Judora's quest because we'll get an avatar for doing a Judora's quest on February 4th, which is tomorrow. We'll be doing that on camera together. I'm looking forward to knocking that one out. It should be fun. But in the meantime, we need to find an eerie pancake for Illusion. Sounds like a good breakfast. 80 Neo points. Stupid cheap. I'll take it. Yeah, I have it. Great. We're on to 16. Okay, cool. And let's go check in with the coincidence. I think since we rejected, we should get a standard request pool item, um, items today. That's what I've been noticing, that if it has a, a variance pool in there and not the, the standard pool of items to request for, then if you decline, then it should go back to that standard pool, which is your fishing items and some other random dailies items. But look at me being completely wrong. Let's check in with what this wooden me pit totem is doing. I think this is obtainable through Tombola. 
And you can see Tom has been in the mood to give out gross food lately. Um, and now it is 30K. So hell to the no. Okay. <laughs> All right, and let's do some trivia. Safaras were the first species to be able to be painted with which paintbrush? That was royal, according to the Daily Neopets. And we got 502 Neopoints and Zafara Detective the book. Nice, let's check in on that price. Oh, very, very cheap for that book. Had to hop tab since my other one wasn't loading, but 150 to 300 Neopoints, so very cheap. Go ahead and read that. Today is Zafara Day. It is also half price, D damn it. <laughs> I didn't want that. Oh, come on. There we go, okay. Will the hover work now? I don't wanna click anything. Okay, well today is a far day. It's also half price day. So if you've ever been curious about, I wanna get into restocking. Today is a great day to kind of test the waters, see how it feels, see how you do with it because everything in the shops will be half price. Shout out to Mrs. Grandpa TV. If you are, wanna get a little bit deeper into restocking, they have a lot of excellent videos um, going into the basics of restocking and also some more advanced restocking techniques, but definitely a professional. So I highly recommend if you're curious about getting into restocking, go check out Mrs. Grandpa. Pot TV. Let's check in with the news. Okay, caption contest has some new scoring systems. I'm really not sure. Okay, it's been revamped so that more people can win. So first to fifth place will receive a trophy and 10,000 Neo points and an avatar. Sixth to twelfth place will receive a second place trophy, 5,000 Neo points and another avatar. And then 13th through 25th will receive a third place trophy and 5,000 Neo points. So if you wanted to try your hand at the caption contest. Also some new poems, new art gallery selections for Zafara Day beauty contest winners and some NC mall news around the Valentine's Day holiday that is quickly approaching and even more oh my god all this NC mall news sorry I'm not in NC mall news anymore but and finally it's the weekend get outdoors and go for a run okay <laughs> this poor little grackle bug that's just holding on for dear life lol but yeah so if you have a safari get your free training at the swashbuckling academy on croc island today but from here we are going to clean up some things and hop into the battle dome let's go to the battle dome battle dome let's go to the battle dome where I fight our pets against the rest in the battle dome let's see how we do with judson ace today we're gonna, I'm gonna make quick work of this butthead and see how we do really enjoying these new weapons i got it's just fun to kind of switch it up you know but starting off with garunda the wise not a good sign for me but let's see where we land all right we have capped out i'm gonna reload this inventory tab and see where we ultimately landed and okay got one red code stone one neo uh neo cola token one nerk mid and three neo cola tokens so let's go get those neocolo tokens spent to the moon to the moon all right we are going to start with our greens sticking with dehydrated h2o and three for all of these selections and got 160 neo points and a fake sloth tattoo okay next up is another green let's see how this one goes and wind up dr sloth toy and 191 neo points junk and lastly our blue neocola token sticking with that dehydrated h2o and three and got 244 neo points and super energy blast drink all right well that is where i'm going to wrap it up for today guys i hope your luck is way better than mine and i will catch you next time bye